Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Dungeon of the Endless Strategy and Tactics Episode 3, Floor 3, uh, where we have just uh, picked up ourselves uh, Mr. Gork, aka Big Neck Large Huge, aka uh, Duke Nukem, kinda? Anyway, uh, so we got, uh, we got thick McMahon muscle here. Uh, we also have ourselves a um, crystal room with three doors. Uh, not my favorite, as mentioned in the previous episode, but this is probably the most common. And you know what? It's better than having four doors off the crystal room, because that sucks when you get that. So, um, no real methodology in terms of, uh, the, you can do your own kind of, uh, oh, well, I always go up, I always go left, right. I personally always go left, because I'm a lefty, but uh, no lefting here, so I'll uh, go up. All right, that's a good sign. Module on the first thing here. Got some monsters, but we got a trio of heroes. We can take them down, no problem. And this actually looks like it's going to be a good uh, uh, hold up. Large room, three doors. I uh, I think this is a good spot to bunker down. Now, given our limited industry here, the we we absolutely have to throw down our industry generator, and we are going to be operating that bad boy too. So yeah, that way we can get our industry recovered and flowing so we can place future modules uh, pretty quickly. Uh, we'll worry, once we start opening up doors and starting to add uh, dark rooms to our mix, I'll start worrying about uh, throwing in some minor modules here for additional protection. But for now, we're just gonna use our heroes. That's snazzy. Didn't used to do that. Let's see here. Oh, right. Yes. So science creator level two to level three. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think that's our best bet here. So uh, we're going to have to uh, wait there for a little bit. Hopefully this one's open. No, not quite. <laughs> not quite. Although it does... Uh, it might e it'll either give us a chunk of food or it'll give us a chunk of uh, or a new person to recruit either which is going to be possibly good so let's see all right bunch of food i'll take it granted we're it's going to be a while before we can build a module here because we just blew a bunch of industry but we're making 14 a turn so we won't have to wait for too much longer um, and with that big chunk of food actually i'm going to hang on to that chunk of food because i want to be able to auto recruit somebody um, if we run into them. So, um, yeah, we still got the dust of power stuff up, so onwards and offwards. Alright, no major module here, which is fine. We, we got a spare one, or rather a free one, and we need 25. So next turn we can get a, a, our module going, and I will make it a science one. Aha! What do you trade in? You trade in food! Handy that! Ooh, a Fuzzy. Uh, speed minus three, attack power. Ooh, Gork. I think uh, we could have the weapon for you, my friend. Yes, we are definitely going to be grabbing that Fuzzy. Um, iron Shield. Just a, just a chunk of raw defense. Uh, I'll save my food for now. Maybe I'll pick that up at the end if we don't have, if we don't recruit anybody good. But for now, that Fousey is definitely going to be uh, Gork's uh, buddy here. All right, uh, we still have enough dust, so we we had enough dust to go all the way down this thing. Oh right, yes, our module science creator. Boom! Huzzah! Um, and that should uh, get us up to what we need soon. We'll uh, give Gork a second here. To, he's even slower now. Yeah, once you're um, when, once you have a character um, whose stats are low enough, you might as well just stack it and go with it. That they're going to be either really slow or really dumb, or in Gork's case, really slow and dumb. <laughs> Easy peasy. 50 
67, we need 65, so soon, soon. Um, oh, but this has a major module attached to it. All right, well, you, I'm okay leaving that dark because I want this on here. 30, Tearing that up. All right. Um, all right. One more turn, we can get that science creator research cooking. Get you in here. Ah, self-powered room. Handy that. Um, and actually, the last of our uh, little things here. So this is. See, this is where it gets kind of annoying. Um, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna toss down a fluid replicator over here, be out of the way. We're gonna queue up this crystal here. Bada boom. All right, now I still want to keep uh, Opbot in here. Um, and we are gonna have a couple of dark rooms. We're gonna have precisely two dark rooms, one at the top, one at the bottom. Now here's another thing that you can do. Um, so if guys spawn up here, they move into here, come down here, tangle in this in this central room. If guys spawn over here, they have to go here to here to here to here. So if both of them spawn, they're going to arrive at our room at different times. And that's a good thing, because by the time they're done dealing with the wave up here, then the wave over here will come in and it will, uh, it'll be less likely to overwhelm them. Um, so this is actually a good setup. Uh, meaning, with some token defenses, Opbot by himself can hold on to this room, and our other two heroes are free to uh, protect the uh, rooms going off the crystal here. Uh, in fact, I might be even be able to uh, shave off one more room, depending on how tightly the uh, defenses here hold. Um, now, the viral injector... I'm not ready to spam that yet. Not ready to spam that. All right, we're going to throw down a suppressive firebot here just to help out Opbot. Um, and then, yeah, I think we're going to uh, prisoner prod this up. Uh, we are not quite at the moment where, uh, where uh, uh, our guys are going to be uh, um, needing some more advanced firepower. And we can always reinforce with our guys. Maybe not so much Gork, given his speed, but Ken can always run up here and reinforce if necessary. All right, yeah, so whenever you're going off of the crystal room, you definitely want to have at least two people, um, if possible. Because if you get a large room spawn, you're gonna, your, your heroes are the only thing standing between them and your crystal. So you want to be able to deal with them uh, the minute you kick out open a door. Ooh, very, very good timed uh, self-powered room here. Very good timed. Um, lots of minor module slots here, too. That makes me happy. Um, that means we can set up a little uh, defense here. This is where having a second operator would be really, really nice. Um, all right, everyone's ready to level up here, but uh, again, I want to hold on to the food just in case we run into someone so we can auto-recruit them. Um, I guess I could uh, illuminate this room just temporarily now since I got the extra dust. Um, all right, we are nine doors in. Do we build, go for another module? Mm, I'm thinking probably not. Uh, although an extra science one would be would be pretty good. Uh, I need 35 industry for that. Uh, we'll see. Usually once you get into double digit doors, it becomes less viable to start making major modules, especially if they're low level. But the science module is not going to be so low level. Um, so it might actually be worth it to throw down another science just for the amplifying effect of that. All right, more happy pills. Uh, didn't we do this already? Uh, happy pills, happy pills. Yeah, you got the hand vacuum. You got the happy pills. I can't give you more happy pills. Um, well, I guess I can give them to Gork. <laughs> Double his wit there. Um, cause, yeah, the hand, Mr. Hand Vacuum, yeah. 
I want you to have that. So yeah, not the best thing. But if we get another operator type person, uh, we can definitely donate them to that. So at the moment, they're just sitting on Gork, giving us plus four attack power, which is nothing to sneeze at. All right, Gork, you're going to stay in the room. Uh, so Ken will kick open the door. because We want to minimize monster spawns here. Science Creator 3. Sweet. Grimm's Fairy Tales. Interesting. Uh, Grimm's Fairy Tales. Wit of 4. Opbot. Yeah, that's only a wit of 2. And this unlocks Master Hacker and more wit. So, uh, yeah. Alright, we might actually run over that merchant and sell some of these happy pills. Because I can't see us needing both sets of them. I'll hold on to one of them. And yep, yeah, merchant's still alive. So let's run over there and do that. And also we'll, we'll uh, spin by the crystal here. I don't know why it's so shiny, but it's I, I like it. It is indeed shiny. Um, so we'll sell those happy pills. Um, iron shield. Well, we've that's already a, that's another trinket item. We're, we are chock full of trinkets, so I don't think I'll be buying that. And I'm not going to buy the Sonic Gun in the one in four chance that our last member will be that. Now, if we encounter our fourth member on here and they are a pistols wielder, then I'll go buy the Sonic Gun for them. But uh, until we know who our first fourth member is going to be, it makes uh, no sense to, uh, to do that. All right, Gork, you move on down here. Let me go check and see what my new researches are. See if there's anything nice and new. Oh my goodness, food replicator one to three. Heck yeah. Uh, as much as it pains me to st uh, to, to skip up on uh, neuro stem, uh, or neuro stun rather, because uh, this is one of the more critical modules, but going from level one to three on the food replicator, uh, it would pain me not to. Um, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna blitz it. I'm gonna go for the science creator, because we're we're already cranking out an industry here like crazy. Um, so I want the extra science there, because I wanna I, even if we don't make it this floor, I want it sooner rather than later, because that'll help us get our food totals up higher. All right, kicking open this door. About time we got some monster waves coming here. And actually, they're so freaking far away, I bet you Gork can make it back here to help reinforce. Oh, time for Mr. Tentacle Zombie. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! No, 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 get away from that. You do not. Oh, that's bad. You do not kill my science module. And that is a danger to leaving modules in harm's way. It's kind of why I tuck the food replicator over here. Um, damn. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take turn this off. We're going to turn that on. No more uh, monsters not on our crystal here or here. Um, and the danger coming down from here, we can handle that. Okay, that's better. I was wondering why it wasn't uh, ending the round there. You gotta be careful about those those flying bug thingies. Alright, Gork, you get your butt in the dark room. Ken, come on down. How's it going, Hotbot? Still, uh, he's still cranking away there. Yeah, plus 15 now that we got his wits even higher. Just one way to go here. That works. All right, there's the exit. Not a bad exit, too. I uh, I don't see any uh, any problems with that. All right, Gork and Ken, come on over here. Now we are having a slew of dark rooms here, and uh, all right, you know what? We got to throw down some. Uh, I'm going to throw down some little cheapos here. Just because we've got we got four rooms here, or actually three rooms here. 
three dark rooms at the end of the hallway and uh, no dedicated operator for this crystal to stand guard. So we're going to need something to uh, keep the spawns from here because again, you want to plan for worst case scenario. Worst case scenario, three waves are appearing, all three of them from these three rooms and a big of monsters comes in. If we had just our two heroes here, um, or even if we pulled Opbot off there losing his bonus, that's still going to cause a lot of things. We're probably going to have to lose a lot of food trying to feed everybody to keep them alive. Those prisoner prods, they're going to help uh, help that out. So that's why I uh, am spending it, even though it's late in the floor. Uh, and we do still want to keep going through there. Um, did that, is that thing still cooking? It's hard to tell now with the new shiny graphics. No, we're saving up for uh, Food Replicator 3. That's right. That's right. 12 a turn. So, uh, yeah. Definitely worth the wait. Just hoping we run into somebody to recruit. Alright. Nano Bros. Once again with the... Uh... Alright, so we here we got some split swarms going in here. So we're going to want to... Uh... But you're handling this all by your lonesome. Yo! Yikes! Criminy! Alright, you uh, why don't you retreat? And why don't you come over here? Alright, well that was uh, a little hairier than I would have liked. Um I probably should have put the uh, the toxin ones up here. That way they tag guys coming in through here. Uh, but, you know, we got this food to spare and it's not too expensive. Um, I did lose Opbot's uh, bonus by moving him, though. Uh, that is a little poish. All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put Opbot over here since we can move him now. Um, and if we... Darken that, darken and lighten that. Now we don't have to worry about this branch at all. Period. We don't. Nothing's going to come from up here, so we can make our our bulwark defenses over here, um, and then obviously the uh, kicking open these doors. Uh, why don't you stand here? Since we can, we're going to replace one of these prisoner rods with this arrested firebot to help us out. Alright, that's better. Oh dear god. Seriously? Uh -huh. God dang it. This is not good. Alright, I'm gonna move him again. Eh. This is not good. Alright, these guys are hitting hard. And there is a time and this is probably one of those times where the layout is just not working in your favor. Um, I don't want to keep opening doors like this because we don't really have the firepower to defend against a whole bunch of dark rooms. And we've got three different sides. We're using up all our power to defend from one of the sides. Um, so you know what? We're going to take a screw you guys. I'm going home approach here. Uh, we've got enough for that upgrade, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to start our upgrade. Food Replicator 3. Um, let's see here. Turn off these rooms here. You don't need to power uh, a research crystal room. Um, boom, 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 boom. Um, power that on. And honestly, that's all we really need. Actually, why don't we go like that? Um, if you leave a um, 
you leave a module powered on for your final um, run to the crystal or for your final door opening, uh, you'll get one more tick out of it. Um, so since we've got a we've got a really really clean run to the exit here, I'm not going to stick around to open these doors. Um, so yeah, that's 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 how I'm calling it here. All right, so the Gork, uh, since you're slow as molasses, you just get your slow butt down there to the exit. You are, well, you're not actually doing anything there. So you get your butt to the exit. And Ken. So yeah, don't be afraid to grab the crystal early. Take your ball and go home, so to speak, uh, if the layout is just not working for you. Because better to uh, cut your losses than to uh, stick it out for the whole floor and just eat tons and tons of crap that you're not ready for. Come on, there we go. Alright, so we missed one, two, three doors. That's not bad, honestly speaking. And we got our uh, research for free, too. Alright, now let's blow this popsicle stand. Alright, um, not as much uh, in the way of resources, but we got that, uh, we got that upgrade. So now we are at, um, we are at science level 3, food level 3. Industry is still suck, stuck at level one, but I've got a way around that. Um, a little tip for that. Um, so I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, if you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent. Let me know what you think uh, about um, uh, taking the crystal early on a floor uh, when things are just not going your way, uh, rather than sticking it out and getting all of your resource ticks. Uh, so let me know what you uh, if you think that is a good or a bad idea. Uh, but until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya.